Hello, this is Alex on Pangeo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the second week of December. First up, Kakao Group acquired Grip Company with 180 billion won. Kakao Group acquired the South Korean live commerce company Grip Company to bolster its competitiveness in the commerce sector. The South Korean IT giant announced on December 2nd that it purchased about 50% of Grip Company's shares with around 180 billion Korean won. Crip Company launched its live e-commerce platform Grip on February 2019. Currently, the platform has about 17,000 sellers with 100 billion Korean won of accumulated turnover. The company has been advancing its B2B live commerce solution business Grip Cloud as well. The company began to provide the solution to Q10 Japan, a Japanese e-commerce platform recently which was its first step toward the global market. It's aiming to provide its services to the U.S. market by the first half of next year. Kakao Group is planning to bolster its strength in commerce sector and build a, an environment where the group and small business owners can benefit together based on the integration of competitive platform of GRIP and scalability and technology of Kakao Group. It also plans to focus on building an open live commerce environment where anyone can easily join so that South Korea's small businesses can find more sales channels at home and abroad. Grip Company CEO Kim Hana said, We decided to work with Kakao Group to make a global number one service. She added, We will realize our vision of the world where everyone can sell by working with Kakao. For our second story, SK Bioscience to create a Nobel Prize in the vaccine industry. SK Bioscience will create a Nobel Prize for vaccines which would be awarded to people and organizations that make groundbreaking contributions to the global vaccine industry every year along with the International Vaccine Institute. SK Bioscience announced on the 30th that it will hold a signing ceremony with the Institute to create the Pak Man Hoon Prize, which would be awarded to people and organizations at home and abroad that make a significant contribution to the development of the vaccine industry along with the Institute. The prize is named after the late Pak Man Hoon, former vice president who was a pioneer of domestic cell-based vaccines to honor his achievements on research and development. Both organizations decided to form the group of less than eight professional judges including the Director General of the International Vaccine Research Institute, in order to award the prize on a regular basis. It is planning to evaluate nominees and award the prize by receiving yearly recommendations of individuals or organizations that made a significant contribution to the industry. SK Bioscience will make a donation of 200 million won every year, and the first prize will be awarded on April 25th of the following year the first anniversary of the late Vice President Pak Man Hoon's passing. Jerome Kim, Director General of the International Vaccine Research Institute, E. Mi He, wife of the deceased Park, and An Jae Yong, President of SK Bioscience, paid their respects in the signing ceremony and pledged to continuously work together in order to help talented people produce results. In September, SK Bioscience and the bereaved family of the late Pak Man Hoon created the Pak Man Hoon Fellowship Fund to give to his alma maters, the Seoul National University Department of Biological Sciences, and the Bosong High School. And they said that they would foster leaders of the bio industry in Korea. For our next story, GBSA is building a Pangyo testbed for AI. The Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, or the GBSA, announced on December 2nd that it would begin the test bed building project for the AI technology demonstrations. The test bed project will enable AI firms in Pangyo Techno Valley to easily use Gyeonggi-do's infrastructure in the area for testing and proving their new products and services. The test bed will provide Pangyo citizens with an opportunity to experience new technologies while supporting the fast commercialization of innovative ideas. The project is led by the Ministry of Science and ICT and managed by the National IT Industry Promotion Agency. The central government will inject a total of 19.5 billion Korean won over the next three years through 2023. The fund will be handled by the Gyeonggi-do government. Having been selected for the project, the GBSA publicly revealed the AI projects for the demonstration testbed 
in July. The seven selected projects cover the AI plus mobility sector with the Smart Crosswalk for Pedestrian Safety and the Smart Driver Monitoring System for Safe Driving. The Living Sector with the AI-based Skin and Scalp Condition Check System and the AI-based Immersive Content and the Disaster Prevention Sector with the AI-based Unmanned Security Service for Households, the AI-based Valley Stream Monitoring System, and the AI-based Industrial Safety Management Service. The GBSA's 4th Industrial Revolution Division Director, Chong Guang Yong, said, we will continuously work to support testing and commercializing of AI technologies based on the AI demonstration testbed that is under construction. And for our final main story of today, NHN to hold a tech conference, NHN Forward Online. NHN announced on the 2nd that it will hold a tech conference called NHN Forward Online on the 14th. NHN Forward, which marks its fourth anniversary this year, is a forum in which business divisions within NHN share their major technologies and experience with developers around the world under the slogan, Small Steps, Big Difference. In this year's event, a keynote speech will be given focused on cloud tech, NHN's biggest service. Kim myung shin Chief Technology Officer of the Cloud Division of NHN, is expected to introduce the future of NHN's cloud business and technology centered around OpenStack, which is being created along with other countries around the world under the topic of the era of cloud by default. Also, a total of 21 presentation sessions, including cloud, machine learning, big data, gaming and open source will be prepared, how to use facial recognition in the era of contactless services, how to read trends using data, how to leave work after creating an instruction email in just 10 minutes using a storybook, how to do live coding easily and quickly using notification, one of the biggest solutions of NHN Cloud, and machine translation made easy using open source are just some of the presentations. Participation registration is open until the day of the event, the 14th of this month, on the Forward official website. Since there is no limit to the number of participants, anyone can freely participate in this event. And now it's time for the quick news of the week. First up, Kakao Enterprise wins two awards at the Global AI Challenge. Kakao Enterprise announced on the first that it was recognized for its AI research capacity by winning two awards at a Global AI Challenge. Next up, we made to hold WeMix Hackathon to find talented people in blockchain. Total prize money worth 110 million won. We made announced on the first that it would hold a WeMix Hackathon to foster and hire talented people who specialize in blockchain technology. College students, graduate school students, individuals and teams can participate in the hackathon and the application is due on the 31st of this month. Ideas would involve DeFi, NFTs, DAO, architectural design field, game planning, and content development projects using blockchain. For the third story, OnLab to conduct education on ESG to spread the environmentally friendly corporate culture. OnLab has conducted environmental education for employees as part of its ESG, Environment Society Governance Management Internalization. The training, which took place on the first, had guest lecturers Hong Su Yul, director of the Resource Circulation Socioeconomic Research Institute, and Guac Jaewon, CEO of Trash Busters, a disposable replacement service. And that's it for your Pangil Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and we'll see you around.